welcome to day 12 of 31 days of Halloween. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my scariest slash creepiest real life experiences. Um, and yeah, so I only have three because it was very hard for me to come up with these, uh, like these things because it was so hard to like go back and like into my memory, into my mind and like think of a time when I was super duper scared and also when it was like super creepy for me and it was so hard to do that um so yeah um but i could only come up with three so that's why there's not that many um but also um sorry if you can hear um like noises upstairs we have tyler's here at the moment and i'm the only one at home and um <laughs> also i know you can see my dog is there Wilbur, he's on my bed um because the dogs are down here because they will just go crazy and bark at the Tylers. Um, they've been here since like 7 o'clock or something and it's almost, it's like 1 o'clock. And I was just like, can you please leave? I need to like, well I didn't say that to them. But um, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that. I'm just like, can you please leave? I need to film videos. Um, so I just kind of went ahead and st started filming. So, because um, I need to film videos for 31 days of Halloween. So, um, I just went ahead and started filming. So, so yes, I am wearing a Disney Princess t-shirt. Isn't it amazing? I got it from JJ's. It's one of my favourites. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be rocking this for today. But anyway, uh, now on to the actual video. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to tell you guys my top three scariest slash creepiest real life experiences. So the first one is when I was on a plane and it, I was flying from... Washington DC to Las Vegas um, and this was when I did my, well my family and I did our trip to America like four years ago um, we were there for a month and this was like our last thing of, of the trip um, flying from Washington to Las Vegas Las Vegas was our last stop on the trip and we were pretty much almost there we were I think we were in like Nevada um, when we were in the, on the plane and we were flying over, I'm pretty sure it was the Grand Canyon that we were flying over. And I'm usually pretty good with flying. Um, I just don't like taking off, that's the only thing that I don't really like with flying. But other than that, I'm pretty good. But um, I had the scariest, well we had the scariest turbulence I've ever experienced in my life whilst on that flight. And it was when we were flying over the Grand Canyon and it was terrifying. I literally thought we were going to drop out of the sky. That's how bad it was. It was just like kept going woo, woo, and like that. It was so scary. My stomach was in knots. And like everyone on the plane was just like woo. I'm just like, can you not? I'm freaking out right now. I was holding onto my seat so tight and it was just so scary. I like, I had never experienced turbulence like that in my life. We did have turbulence like on the way over to America like when we flew from Brisbane to LA um, at the start of our trip but it wasn't as bad as that. That was pretty much the worst turbulence I've ever experienced in my whole life and it was terrifying and like like I said before I literally thought I was going to drop out of the sky because it was just so scary it was like the worst and yeah I never want to experience that again because it was terrifying. Okay so the next thing I have uh, well the next scariest uh, real life experience for me was when I fell off a horse for the first time and some of you may think that's not a super scary thing but for me it was because the horse that I fell off was huge it was this ginormous horse I don't remember how tall it was I think it was like six hands tall I think I don't really remember um, but it was really big and it was my first time falling off a horse and I actually even hurt myself I like kind of like sprained my wrist and it was it hurt a lot and also my nose uh, started to bleed and um, it was terrifying because I fell off him and it was a long way to the ground and it was my first time pulling up a horse and so I was just so scared I was like oh my god I think because it may have gotten like spooked by some water maybe because I think we were playing some sort of like a game and um, it was like I don't know I think it was like in the summer time maybe and it was like a day event thing at the horse riding school that I used to go to and we were have, playing this game with buckets of water and like trying to like carry it like well whilst riding a horse 
and like trying to carry the bucket of water in one hand which is very difficult to do by the way it was so hard and my horse that I had was huge and like it was a super sweet horse but at that moment like I think it got like a bit wet with the bucket and it got spooked by it and then it started going a bit crazy and then I fell off and it was terrifying because it was a really long way to the ground and it was just so scary um and yeah that like it was so crazy because that the first horse training school I went to I fell off a horse twice I fell off two different horses and then the second horse riding school that I went to which was the um McIntyre Centre which is like um it's a uh, horse riding for that for like the disabled um and their horses are super chill because they have to be like for people with disabilities um, and I never fell off once at that place so I definitely had a better time at the McIntyre Centre um, and yeah because their horses were super chill and super relaxed um, so yeah I definitely had a lot better time there than I did at the other place um, but yeah that was super scary for me because I wasn't I'm pretty sure and I was a lot shorter back then and so falling off a really tall horse was really scary and yeah I just didn't like it and I didn't stay at that place for very long after that so um yeah that was the end of that okay so the last thing is, this is where the creepy comes in this wasn't really scary but this was kind of like creepy so this was this happened at my old work um and I used to work in like a discount store where there's like lots of like stuff that's really cheap um, and so you see a lot of like, and you meet a lot of like different people like every day. Um, and uh, it was one day this guy came in and he was trying on sunglasses and because uh, we saw like really cheap sunglasses. And he, like every single time he would try on a pair of sunglasses, he would ask me, he would, he would be like, do these look okay? I was like, yeah, they look good. Um, and but it happened every single time. He came over every single time with a different pair of sunglasses. I'm like, yep, they look great. Why do you keep coming over to me? Um, and I was trying to do my job and like, as I was like trying to serve customers, he just like kept on coming over. I was like, okay, can you like just stop now? This is really annoying. Um, and he was even trying on like kids sunglasses and stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it was just really weird. And then when he finally stopped trying on sunglasses, um, he uh, came up to the counter and he paid for the sunglasses that he finally chose. And when he was finished, and thank God there was no one else behind him because it would have been really awkward. Um, and when he finished, he was like, uh, can I have your number? And I was like, um, no <laughs> like it was just so weird and I had like never like had that before and like or experienced that before it was just so weird and really like creepy to me and he like kind of said it a bit strange he was like can I have your number and I was just like um no I don't even know you why would I give you your number it just really creeped me out and then I told my boss that it happened and she was like yeah we've had some people like that before it's just really strange you kind of get used to it but it was really weird and like kind of like out of the blue and he wasn't even that good looking like it, he, for me he wasn't good looking at all really um he wasn't my type i should say but it was just really creepy and really random and thank god there was no one behind him because if there was it would have been super awkward um but yeah thank god there was no one behind him there was no line um and i think it was like a quiet day or something and it was just really really weird um, and after that I never saw him again so <laughs> that was good because it was just so bizarre and weird um, so anyway those are my top three scariest slash creepiest real life experiences I hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe because I am uh, wanting to get to 100 subscribers by my 21st birthday and yeah I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for day 14 of 31 days no not 14 Day 13 of 31 days of Halloween. Alright, bye guys.